What is buffer? Brought to you by my book of chemistry by Dr. Y. A buffer is an aqueous solution that has a stable pH when small amounts of acid or base are added to it. A buffered solution can neutralize small quantities of additional acid or base and still maintain its pH. A concentrated buffer can neutralize more acid or more base than a dilute buffer. The amount of acid or base that can be added to a buffer before it starts changing its pH is called the buffer capacity. So how do you make buffer? A buffer can be made by adding a weak acid and its conjugate base. A conjugate base is a species that is formed when an acid dissociates in water. Alternatively, a buffer can be made by adding a weak base and its conjugate acid. How do buffers work? Well, when hydrogen ion or acid is added to a buffer, it will be neutralized by the base in the buffer. When hydroxide ion or base is added to a buffer, it will then be neutralized by the acid in the buffer. These neutralization reactions will not have much effect on the overall pH of the buffer solution. Buffer solutions have a wide range of uses, not only in chemistry labs, but in everyday life as well. In fact, buffers are important in many commercial household products. So how are buffers used in everyday life? Number 5. In printing industries. Buffers play a key role in printing industries. pH of paper and ink must be controlled so that the ink properly penetrates the paper without smudging. Number 4. In shampoos. Buffers are used in shampoos to maintain pH slightly acidic. Shampoo contains soap, which is basic, and this can be damaging to your hair or even burn your scalp. Ouch! To counteract and to make the shampoo slightly acidic, a buffer is added. Citric acid and sodium hydroxide are two example buffers used in making shampoo. Number 3. In baby lotions. If you have a baby brother or sister, you probably noticed that mom or dad applies baby lotion to baby's bum to relieve diaper rashes. This is because baby lotion is buffered to a slightly acidic pH of 6, which blocks the growth of bacteria and helps to prevent diaper rash. Yay! Number 2. In brewing industries. To make alcoholic beverages such as beer or wine, a process called fermentation is essential. Fermentation is a process where sugars are converted into alcohols in the absence of oxygen. Manufacturers add buffer solutions before the fermentation process to regulate their pH. This prevents the solutions from becoming too acidic and spoiling the product. Cheers! Number 1. Buffering in blood. Our blood contains buffers in order to maintain a blood pH of around 7.4. Maintaining a constant pH is essential, since pH value higher than 7.8 or lower than 6.8 can lead to death. Respiration produces carbon dioxide as a waste product. Carbon dioxide is dissolved in the blood where it is taken up by the red blood cells and converted to carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is a weak acid. In water, it dissociates partially into hydronium ion and bicarbonate anion, which is the conjugate base. Carbonic acid and bicarbonate anion can now work as a buffer system in our blood. When an acidic substance enters the bloodstream, the bicarbonate anions neutralize the acid forming carbonic acid and water. The equilibrium shifts to the left. This lowers the concentration of acid, preventing the pH of blood from becoming too acidic. On the other hand, when a basic substance enters the bloodstream, now the carbonic acid reacts with the base producing bicarbonate ions and water. The equilibrium now shifts to the right. In this manner, the concentration of base is lowered from blood, preventing the pH of blood 
from becoming too basic. Conclusion The pH is balanced by the presence of both a weak acid and its conjugate base so that any excess acid or base introduced to our blood is neutralized. That's it for today. See you next time. Please subscribe and hit the like button, please.